today's video is bittersweet. We are looking at the fifth and final Gymshark times Whitney Simmons collab. If you watch my channel, you would know I praise Whitney's legging as being one of the best scrunch leggings of all time that I personally have tried. It's for sure Gymshark's best scrunch. So that's saying a lot. I know a lot of you feel the same exact way. They obviously have a recipe that works. I mean, this is the fifth collection we're talking about here. Actually, to be honest, I've never tried the very first collection, but I have tried the second, third, fourth, and now here with the fifth. This collection is very popular because it's great for everyday wear. A lot of rest day pieces, athleisure. This is one of Gymshark's most fashionable lines that they offer. Big congrats to Whitney on her final collection. We actually met last June at her LA event. She's so sweet, like just as sweet in person. Thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be breaking up this video into two big chunks. So first we're gonna look at the eyelash knitwear. And then we will go into talking about her signature buttery soft leggings and sports bras more of the OG Whitney collection that we're all familiar with. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. Definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future Gymshark videos. We cover everything they have to offer. All new releases you can expect to be reviewed on this channel. So subscribe so you don't miss out. So this collection is going to be launching January 19th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A little background of the collection, here we go. Over the past four collections, we've all been on a journey of growth and change alongside Whitney. Now her fifth and final collection showcases just how far we've all come. Embrace your journey and continue to shape the you of tomorrow in the last Gymshark Times of Whitney Simmons collection. Its famous buttery, supple fabric is back for some key movement pieces that have comfort at their heart. Plus, new additions of ultra soft eyelash knit make every rest day your coziest. Shaping, resting, or reflecting, this collection is here to help you feel beautiful every step of your journey. Are you seeing this color palette? I told you. Skylight white, cement brown, black, leaf green, canyon red, and pressed petal pink. So if you take a look at this palette, you have a lot of muted tones. Before we hop into the clothes, let's breeze through the accessories. She's launching. <laughs> You like this mannequin head Bay bought me, hey? Eh? For, for things like this? So we're looking at a Whitney cap right here. Just your standard baseball cap style. Got the Whitney logo going across right in the front. Sewn on. I really like the deviation from the last launch. Very minimal, very dainty, very minuscule. Love that minimalist look. They're also coming out in leaf green. It wouldn't be a Whitney launch without a water bottle. Right? Shark head logo on the lower third, Whitney Simmons text right across here. On the back, well, or front, depending on how you look at it. It's a beautiful day to be alive. We got her slogan written in cursive text right up the bottle. I do believe, actually, yeah, it, this is the only piece in this entire collection. This is it that has her slogan written out. Crew socks. These colors just flow so nicely together, so they really paired them well. Only two socks available, they're gonna come in a pack. Then you have that ribbon logo going on right here. Comes right off, you can literally stick your whole finger through it. So the pieces that they're going to be launching in the new eyelash knitwear are going to be bandos, halter tops, shorts, boat neck crews, and jackets. Everything, every single solitary piece you see in today's video is in my true size small. I didn't size up, I did not size down, not needed. I have one of each piece to share with you in a variety of colors, so without further ado, let's start with the bandeau. So right now I'm wearing the cement brown and I also have the black. The bandos are coming in every color available. First and foremost, let's talk about the eyelash material here. Whoa, it is soft, it is very thick. These pieces are extremely thick, dense, and relatively heavy, but in a good way. It just adds to the overall feeling of it, like the quality, the warmth, it feels like you're being hugged by a teddy bear. It's really comfortable. When I first heard about the eyelash knitwear, I was like, mm, I just figured it would be like, just one of those Sherpa-y, fuzzy pieces that just might get everywhere, but this is really nice. This feels like freaking fur. So we're looking at very matte, stretchy straps up top here. If you look closely, you have Gymshark text written all the way around the straps. Now that's on the one strap. The other strap, if you look closely, actually says Whitney Simmons all around. A little bit of a rounded coverage up here on top. So it's not straight across like the traditional Gymshark bandos that we all know. This has a little 
little bit of lift in the front. In terms of actual design, it's one monotone piece. The only real color you're gonna see is that little bit of branding on the back. We're very used to seeing Whitney coming out with gold-plated emblems. Now we're looking at a more minimal approach to the branding. For the bandeau in particular, if you're in between sizes, that's when I would say you could get away with sizing down. There's a ton of stretch going on in all the eyelash pieces. There is a heavy duty band going on right down here. In terms of the lay, it actually does bring it in a little bit. You can see where that band starts right here. The reason I say if you're in between, you can consider sizing down is because there's a little bit of room here. So it definitely helps to keep things supportive and not let your boobies just slide on out. Like if you're raising your hands, this band saves your life. Moving on to the shorts, as you can see, this is the piece that I have the most color variety in, hands down. So we're looking at the skylight white. Let me show you exactly the color we're looking at here. It's a very creamy cloud white. It looks very milky, like marshmallowy. It even feels like a marshmallow. And you guys saw the black before, so I got the matching bottoms here. The canyon red, a very deep dark blush tone. Pressed petal pink, this is very cool tone pink. In Whitney's video, she said that she's in her pink phase, and I kind of feel that. I'm not usually a pink person, but lately, as of late, I don't know, the color's kind of intriguing me a bit. And the leaf green, oh my God. I have so much love for the leaf green and the cement brown. You can even mix and match and it would, you would just look very earthy. These shorts are coming in every color available. So we are looking at a high-waisted six inch inseam. So they're right between shorts and biker shorts where they meet, you know, in the middle there. What I actually really do appreciate about these shorts is the fact that even though they're tighter and they're not baggy, you know, they are form-fitted shorts. I like that there's no cinching or dig anywhere, just like the bralette, there's no pinching, there's no discomfort going Going on here. Not only is the eyelash knit very, very soft and plush feeling, but with that stretch, that insane stretch, you're not actually being restricted anywhere. I would still stick to my true size, but ironically enough, after trying on every single color in the shorts, the skylight white and the pressed petal pink are the loosest around the band area compared to the rest. Not enough for me to size down or up, but it was a little bit noticeable to me, which is why I'm bringing it up. If you're in between sizes, I would say you could get away with sizing down because again, the stretch, the little bit of extra material they have lengthwise, when you move around and squat, it does bunch a little bit right here. It doesn't ride up, but you do see a little bit of material going right around here, so you could get away with sizing down if in between. If you look closely, you see these like invisible seams going down the leg to help contour it a little bit, and it's very hard to detect, but there is an invisible seam going on here. <laughs> Even in these, you still want the glutes to look good, and you don't have to worry about it, they hooked you up there. Now keep something in mind, this band, right here on the waistband can be flipped, rolled down a little bit. It's the same identical band as you have right under here in the bralette. Even if you don't want it to be seen, it's still quality detailing. I had a little bit of trouble rolling it down. It worked well in the front, but for some reason the backing just didn't want to cooperate. Basically the back kept wanting to flip back up on me. In case you're somebody who's wondering what the inside is like with these pieces, it's the same identical material as on the outside. Let's take a look at the halter neck, shall we? I only grabbed the one, only because I don't see myself wearing this style as much as the bandeau. They're both beautiful, but if I had to pick between the two, it's gonna be the bandeau. The halter tops are coming in every color available except black. So there's no padding going on here. Just like the, this bra, there's no padding, but still the same very thick material. The halter neck just gets tied from the top. That's it, very straightforward and simple. Again, true size small, great. In between, size down. Especially on me with this one, I felt like the material was starting to bunch a little bit right here, up near my clavicle, all right? So there's a little extra material going on here, but still so beautiful. You got the nice V cut. I mean, straight up, I feel like you could dress this piece up, right? Like a pair of jeans even. Major props here, given there's no support, it did not budge on me. I moved around, hands up, down, left, right, whatever. There was no moving around it stayed put so keep that in mind you really could dress this up in terms of the branding you don't have the straps with the branding obviously but you do still have that very tonal logo on the back let's take a look at the boat neck crew 
Now, whereas the other pieces had a lot of color options available, the boat neck crew only has this skylight white and black. This is an oversized fit. This is in the skylight color. Oversized so much so that me being five foot three, I could literally rock it as a dress. It becomes a little more grabby towards the end here, but up top is where the real looseness is. There's a big casual look to this cozy sweater. The boat neck is basically just a very elongated neckline, very wide, so you could wear it off the shoulder. You can even, because it's so stretchy, wear it off both shoulders. You can really style this in many ways. Again, if you're in between 1 trillion percent size down, even if you're not in between, I mean, especially if they sell out fast and all you have is your sized down version, get it. You do have very subtle, subtle blended in ribbed cuffs if you look very closely along with right down here. I mean, it's so hard to see. They did a good job of just blending it in so you didn't have a different material cuff. It is all one big eyelash. The last eyelash piece we're gonna be looking at today is the jacket. So I just have it in the cement brown color, but it's also available in the skylight white color as well. So we're looking at more of a midi jacket, full zip. Right at the waistband area, it cinches in ever so slightly. Do you see that? It just curves in a little bit, accentuates the figure. Very much a slouchy look up top. You can see where the sleeve actually starts, right around here. So it's a little bit of a drop sleeve. You zip it up all the way, it's a really nice high collar. Just like the rest of the pieces, it's a fairly heavy piece. But when you're wearing it, it's not uncomfortable, like it's bogging you down. It's just cozy. I feel like this is gonna be one of the most functional pieces to wear out and about. It's like, I'm not going to wear the bandeau and the shorts really out, but I will be absolutely wearing this cozy one out and about because it's winter time here and this is a gem. So you do have a circle zipper here with the Gymshark logo, if you look up close, very hard to see, but it's there. There's no pockets whatsoever going on here, no inner pockets, no external pockets but there will be on the leggings. Just like the boat neck crew, it is oversized. You could get away with sizing down, especially if you're in between. In fact, I get very Skims-esque vibes going on here. What about this fuzzy, furry eyelash material? Is it gonna flake off? Am I gonna have eyelashes all over my other sets? Like, what's going on here with that? No, it just doesn't. Like, I'm like patting at it. It does not shed. You know, in Whitney's video, I think she said this in passing, but she referred to these pieces as being very welcoming. I thought that was the perfect descriptive word for these pieces because they are. <laughs> they have enough uh, density and, and comfort and warmth to them to just feel like you're being hugged. They are very much a comforting set to wear. Are we ready to take a look at the Whitney V5 buttery soft fabric, her signature fabric we all have come to love? It is unique to this, Gymshark does not have anything else like it, except there's a twist. She added in different designs here. So none of these pieces are like the old pieces except for the fabric. They are coming out in long line sports bras, crop tops, leggings, and a dress. They're gonna have the same exact color palette available for the buttery soft leggings and sports bras as they did with the comfy eyelash athleisure. So for the sports bras, I have the colors leaf green, cement brown, and canyon red. We're looking at a real deep V, almost a plunge neckline going on here. It is long line, so it covers a little more of the rib cage, it comes a little bit lengthier than some of her previous sports bras. If you look closely, check out the detailing going on underneath the chest area. For me, it makes it look like there's a built-in underwire but there isn't. Look at this curved, thick seam going on under there. Then you have a lot of the flat lying seams just to add a bit of contouring underneath the bra here. This panel right beneath what looks like the underwire are actually little baby mesh panels. So a little bit of breathability added to the piece. You do have removable bra pads. There's no actual physical band going on here like the bandeau, so more of just a flat lying material. Over to the back, we have more of a halter neck shape with some adjustable straps going down. This is adjustable two ways. We're looking at the straps up here being adjustable, both of them. And then you have down here a hook and eye clasp. So very much adjustable. So it's nice, you can adjust it up and down and in and out. I think the corset detailing on the front is what makes it really unique. I love that outline underneath the boobs. I just feel like it, it adds so much 
femininity to the piece. Right in the center here is where you're going to see the Whitney Simmons logo with the shark face above it. Now, the only thing is I'm not sure how I feel about having the branding right here, smack dab in the middle. You'll see on the dress as well. Even though it's tonal and fairly discreet, I feel like it could have worked really well right here on this back panel as well. It's a little out of the face. It's even squared off perfectly here with the seams. So I feel like this is the perfect canvas to put that logo. And just like the bandeau, you do have the same types of stretchy straps with the same exact Gymshark text Whitney Simmons text. So overall, we're looking at more of a low support sports bra. Even though you have a ton of adjustments just to make sure it's very comfortable, overall, it's still got that low support. I would stick to my true size small. I know some of her bras ran pretty big on me in the past. This one's a lot better. The cleavage looks good right where it should lay. You have room to play, move around the boobs because of this plunge. But this area almost comes off the skin a little bit. So there's no digging whatsoever. If you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing down. Now it's time to chat about the leggings. So I have the Canyon Red, the Fern Green, and the Cement Brown. They are coming in every other color except for the Skylight White. The strangest thing, the Canyon Color leggings gave me such a weird dreaded CT camel toe. Not in the front because there, there's no front seam, but right at the gusset. So if you're at an angle, like looking a little bit upward, it was a crazy camel toe and I couldn't get rid of it. For the life of me, I was like, oh no. This is the first legging I tried on, so I was like, am I doomed here? But what's odd is the fact that the cement brown and the, the leaf green, no camel toe, none whatsoever. Front, gusset, you name it, it was a smooth canvas down there. So I don't really know why? <laughs> I was wearing the same underwear throughout, trying these on, so I don't really know, but I, I had to bring it up, you know? These are not seamless sets, in case you're new to the Whitney collection. This is a very buttery soft yoga wear kind of style, very stretchy, comfy, kind of like second skin. Check out the contour paneling we have with the seams. Now, this is all flat lying seams, so a pretty comfortable wear throughout. Unlike her previous leggings, these have pockets. I do appreciate that. I am a gal who likes pockets. I like my leggings to be functional like that in case I decide to go out for a walk or whatever. Because these are relatively thin leggings, they're not very cellulite friendly. I have to let that be known. We have the delightful, delectable, the absolute best Gymshark scrunch bum ever. I don't think they'll ever top this. I really don't. Because even though you see it right here, you see a little bit of that bunched up scrunch look. When you're wearing it, it's undetectable. It just looks like a regular seam, but it enhances the curves. You do have the V seam right on the back. Overall, they left enough glute space to really just have that flattering lay over the booty. See, now with this piece, they put the logo right on the back here. Now, I'm not feeling any differences between the fit feel, the fabric of this collection versus the last collection. Even when wearing them, moving around in them, because I know that's gonna be a big question. You're probably wondering if anything changed in that department. I'm not feeling anything. These are actually really surprisingly squat proof. Okay, because they're so thin, like I said, they're not very cellulite friendly. The thinness was my concern, especially with these light colors. They're like, 90% squat proof on me, of course. I always have to say on me because some people might put it on and see right through. Other people will be like, no, it's 100% squat proof. So if you're thinking about wearing this to your next yoga class, you can do that. We're looking at a very low compression throughout this legging. The waistband is very comfortable. That's where sometimes it gets me. When it's too compressive, I feel like I'm being smushed in. So if you're looking for a low key, very buttery soft, low energy type of legging, then these would be great for you. On to the crop tops. I have one in skylight white and cement brown. Now, you know I have to go for the nude. Whenever there's a nude color available, it's gonna be mine. These are gonna be available in every single color on the palette line. So you can definitely mix and match with any other piece here. We're looking at a short sleeve body fit crop top. Very stretchy, okay? This is a very stretchy crop top to put over your set or wear with a pair of jeans even, who am I to say? Very standard, straightforward, solid piece. I mean, it is as minimal as minimal gets. Like, where the hell is the logo? There it is. <laughs> it's just the shark face logo right here. Very tonal, rubberized, and then right on the sleeve here on the left-hand side, very small text says Whitney Simmons rubberized print. 
This is what I wish they did with the sports bra branding. It's not smack dab in the middle. It's kind of concealed, it's put away. I like how they went about this piece. Size small works. What I will say, these sleeves, are on the verge of being a little bit too tight. If they were any smaller, I feel like they would cinch in a little bit too much. It's gonna cut off my circulation, like that thing you put your arm in to test your blood pressure at Walmart. <laughs> this is the one and only piece that I have tried on so far that shifts when you really move around. It is the type of crop top where you're gonna see your sports bra, especially if you're at the gym doing yoga, moving around, you're gonna end up seeing what's underneath it. But it's very different because this is a lot more of a lightweight piece. This has that active wear feel to it. I feel like it's just very versatile in its simplicity. You could rock them with a high-waisted pair of jeans, some sneakers. This would look really cute and casual, or you could wear it in the gym, it's up to you. Closing the show with the very last piece in the last collection. We have a Whitney dress here. These dresses will be available in leaf green and black only. They have the same exact thing going on here as the sports bra with the adjustable back strap. Only difference is you don't have the band right here that's adjustable, but yet you still have the mesh paneling underneath, the heavy curved seam under the bust. Again, you have the Whitney logo smack dab in the middle. This piece specifically is where I would have liked to see that logo right on the back here, right where there's a ton of space. I, I feel like the logo is a little too potent Right there, does that make sense? I feel like it's a little bit misplaced. I feel like it would have just, it would have flowed better if it was on the back. Now keep in mind, there's no liner, no built-in shorts, nothing going on under here. You're gonna be free balling in terms of sizing. My true size works, but it's a little bit big right around the chest area here. Nothing that adjusting the straps can help. That will only bring this up, not tighten this area where it needs to be tightened. At least with a sports bra, you were able to tighten it from different ways, from different angles and things like that. I feel like with this body fit, it naturally makes its way up slightly when you're moving, you know? When you're, when you're walking, it'll slowly make its way up. So I feel like it can compromise the fit of the top here a little bit, adding a little extra room and things like that. So if I'm in between, I would consider sizing down for sure. Especially if we have similar measurements up here. If you have enough to fill out these cups, you'll be fine with your true size, for real. If if you are a member of the itty bitty titty committee, then you might want to consider sizing down. In terms of length, it comes right above the knee for me and I'm five foot three. Overall, I feel like this is a very flattering dress. Really enhances the curves nicely. You're meant to feel yourself in this dress. It's sexy. So overall, my sizing is fine. It's just when I really move my arms around and I'm doing a lot of movement is when it kind of shifts up here and gets a little wonky. Other than that, it is a beautiful dress. All right guys, that concludes the final Whitney collection review video. Encore. Encore. <laughs> I really don't want this to be her last collection. I look forward to these launches. I feel like she really brings a different element to Gymshark, different vision, a different style. I know at least for me, I feel like she gets me when she makes these pieces. Again, congrats to Whitney for yet another banging collection. She literally went out with a bang with this one. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd be happy to help you out. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video.